Hello, my name is Albert Fisher, and in 1962, at the age of 20 turning 21, I had the privilege of being involved with television and movies at the great Seattle World's Fair in Seattle, Washington. One of the highlights of that fair, and certainly a highlight for me, was being involved in the making of the motion picture for MGM. It happened at the World's Fair, starring Elvis Presley. I became the technical advisor on that movie and spent time both in Seattle and in Los Angeles at the MGM Studios in the production of this motion picture. During all of the location shooting at the Seattle World's Fair, I carried with me an 8mm home movie camera and I was able to shoot a lot of home movies that you're about to see. Rarely has anyone been able to have access to the behind the scenes action of a motion picture being made by Elvis Presley. I've preserved all of these films and they've never been seen in public before until now. These 8mm home movies have been transferred to high quality digital videotape and now put onto this DVD so that you can experience the best of the quality that these movies could afford. Obviously in 1962, the technology did not exist to shoot videotape or even better quality home movies. But they do capture the essence of the film and most importantly, the great time that all of us experienced being with the king, Elvis Presley. And now, here are the 8mm home movies of Elvis Presley and the making of It Happened at the World's Fair.
people don't realize is that the famous Belgian waffle was introduced to the United States from this pavilion at the Seattle World's Fair in 1962. This scene from the movie, Elvis Presley has hired this young kid in the red shirt to kick him in the knee so he would have an excuse to go to the dispensary to visit his girlfriend played by Joan O'Brien. Moviegoers would later recognize this young kid as the actor Kurt Russell. In August of 1962, at the base of the monorail in downtown Seattle, Washington, the governor of Washington State, Albert Rossellini, seen here with Colonel Tom Parker, visited the shooting location to meet Elvis Presley. This is the director of photography, Joseph Ruttenberg, at the camera, and the monorail station, and that's Otto Lang to the left, the second unit director, Bitsy Mott, who was one of the members of the Memphis Mafia, 
And on the chair down there is a ham from Elvis Presley's farm. And now Presley is getting ready with Colonel Parker to present this ham to the governor of the state of Washington. The gentleman in the sunglasses is Ted Richmond, the producer of the movie. And that's Colonel Parker wearing the hat. And the gentleman between Presley and the governor is Norman Turog, the director of the movie It Happened at the World's Fair. I'll tell you a little inside story about my title as the technical advisor on the movie. I was so thrilled about having this position that when the movie first came out, and by then I was living in New York City, I invited all of my friends to come to the opening day of It Happened at the World's Fair starring Elvis Presley. And I wanted everyone to see my name up on the screen as technical advisor. I was so proud of that. And then when the credits started to roll and the anticipation was building, up comes the credit, technical advisor, and the name underneath said, Colonel Tom Parker. Elvis Presley's manager stole my title. I was heartbroken, but I went on to survive. Here's a little montage of some still photographs that I took during the making of the motion picture.
This is me when I worked at the Seattle World's Fair. Part of my job in the television and motion picture department at the World's Fair was making sure that all of the location shooting went as smoothly as possible. We did a lot of different television shows there with people like Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. Marie Chevalier. Carol Channing. Richard Nixon, before he became president, seen here with his wife, Pat, and their two daughters. A lot of different celebrities came to the fair, and I was privileged to be able to spend time with many of them, such as Edward R. Murrow. Astronaut John Glenn had just returned from his historic first orbit in space for the United States, and he visited the Seattle Fair. His Royal Highness Prince Philip came to the Seattle Fair as well. Also, the world's first satellite transmission ever done from Europe to America and from America back to Europe was done in the summer of 1962 using a brand new satellite that was launched called Telstar. Here's a couple of shots from that historic event. I hope you've enjoyed these unique and one-of-a-kind home movies of the making of It Happened at the World's Fair, starring Elvis Presley. It's been my pleasure to present them to you. <laughs>